Hey there, folks. It's Kenny. I'm back with another history lesson for you. Today, we're going to talk about a mysterious figure from Ming Dynasty China who played a pivotal role in one of the most significant events in Chinese history, the Jinan Campaign. And that figure is none other than the enigmatic monk, Yao Guangxiao. Let's go. Let me tell you a story about a fascinating figure from Chinese history, Yao Guangxiao. He was a politician, Zen Buddhist monk, and poet who lived during the late Yuan and early Ming dynasties. But that's not all, he was also one of the rebels who participated in the Jingnan campaign against the Ming Emperor, and he played a crucial role in helping Zhu Di usurp the throne and become the Yan Lok Emperor. Yao Guangxiao came from a family of doctors and was born in the 14th century. At the age of 14, he decided to become a monk and shaved his head. He studied different schools of Buddhism, including the Tin Tai and Esoteric Buddhism, before finally settling on Zen Buddhism. He became a disciple of a famous Zen master and adopted the name Dao Yan. Yao Guangxia was not just a religious figure, he was also a political player. He was one of the main supporters of Zhu Di's rebellion against his nephew, the Jin Wen Emperor, and helped him seize the throne. Yao Guangxiao's skills as a strategist and diplomat were instrumental in securing the support of other rebel leaders and convincing them to join Zhu Di's cause. Interestingly, even though he was a Zen master, Yao Guangxiao also studied Taoism and learned divination and other mystical practices. When a fortune teller once remarked that Yao Guangxiao had a face that looked like that of a violent person who enjoyed killing, Yao Guangxiao was not upset. He actually found it amusing. Let me tell you about how Yao Guangxiao met Zhu Di. It all started when Yao Guangxiao was recommended to annotate Buddhist scriptures by his mentor, Zhang Li. Three years later, he was ordered to return to Nanjing. In the year 1382, after Empress Ma passed away, the princes and kings requested a monk to recite scriptures and pray for her in the tomb. Zhang Li then recommended Yao Guangxiao to the Prince of Yan, Zhu Di. When Yao Guangxiao first saw the Prince of Yan, he was struck by Zhu Di's dignified bearing his unique character, and his aura of a future emperor. Zhu Di, in turn, was impressed by Yao Guangxiao's unusual personality and deep wisdom. It was as if they had already met and had a deep understanding of each other. According to a history book, Yao Guangxiao told Zhu Di, Your Royal Highness has a very distinguished appearance, and your personality is unparalleled. If you allow me to follow you, I will offer you a white hat. This sentence actually means he can help Zhu Di to become emperor. Zhu Di was pleased and agreed to have Yao Guangxiao accompany him to Beiping, later Beijing. Upon their arrival in Beiping, Yao Guangxiao was appointed abbot of the Qingshu Temple by Zhu Di, who had personally selected him. From that moment on, Yao Guangxiao served as an advisor to Zhu Di and played a significant role in his rise to power. There are different versions of how Yao Guangxiao helped Zhu Di become emperor. One story, recorded by Ming scholar Zhu Yunming in his book, tells of a Buddhist monk in Yunnan who told a listener that Yao Guangxiao knew the future of the Prince of Yan. When Zhu Di heard this, he summoned Yao Guangxiao and asked him to predict his future. Yao Guangxiao divined the future, tossing a coin twice and predicting that Zhu Di would become emperor. Zhu Di was skeptical, but Yao Guangxiao insisted that it was true. Another story, recorded in the history of Ming, tells of how Yao Guangxiao brought the fortune teller Yuan Gong to Zhu Di to reveal the will of heaven. Yuan Gong recognized Zhu Di's imperial aura and predicted that he would become emperor. Both stories suggest that Yao Guangxiao had mystical powers and foresaw Zhu Di destiny to become emperor. Regardless of the version of events, it is clear that Yao Guangxiao played a crucial role in Zhu Di's ascent to the throne. Their meaning was fateful, as Yao Guangxiao's intelligence, wisdom, and spiritual insights proved instrumental in Zhu Di's success. Their friendship and partnership lasted throughout Zhu Di's reign, and Yao Guangxiao's influence was felt in many aspects of the Yan Lok Emperor's rule, including his military conquests. Yao Guangxiao was not only a monk and a poet, but also a key political advisor during a significant period of Chinese history. His meeting with Zhu Di was a turning point in both of their lives, and their partnership was instrumental in the establishment and consolidation of the Ming Dynasty. Now, I will tell you about how Yao Guangxiao helped Zhu Di successfully rebel against his nephew, the Jin Wen Emperor, and seize the throne. After the death of the first emperor of the Ming Dynasty, Zhu Yuanzhang, his grandson Zhu Yunwen became the Jin Wen Emperor 
and began purging the imperial family. Chu Di, who was the Prince of Yan and had the highest military achievements among the princes, found himself in a dangerous situation. Fortunately, he had the help of Yao Guangxiao, who had become his trusted advisor and military strategist. Yao Guangxiao also made military preparations in the Yan province, but to keep it secret, he had his men buy a lot of ducks and geese, which they let run around noisily to cover up the sounds of weapon making and training. Later, Zhu Di decided to rebel and rise up. That night, a strong wind blew and caused tiles to fall off the roof of the Yan Palace. Yao Guangxiao interpreted this as a fortunate omen. During the three-year-long rebellion known as the Jinan Campaign, Yao Guangxiao did not personally participate in the battles, but was entrusted by Zhu Di to look after the capital and attend to the people's needs. Whenever Zhu Di faced uncertain situations, he would turn to Yao Guangxiao for advice and guidance. Yao Guangxiao even suggested that Zhu Di directly attack the capital of Nanjing, which proved to be a crucial move that led to the final victory of the rebellion. When Zhu Di finally succeeded in seizing the throne, Yao Guangxiao was credited as the top contributor to the success of the rebellion. Yao Guangxiao played a critical role in helping Zhu Di successfully rebel against the Jin Wen Emperor and seize the throne. As his trusted advisor and strategist, Yao Guangxiao's knowledge of military affairs and understanding of the people's sentiments proved invaluable. His use of unconventional methods, such as the noisy ducks and geese, showed his ingenuity and resourcefulness. Yao Guangxiao's legacy as a key figure in the establishment of the Ming Dynasty is a testament to his intelligence and strategic thinking. In the first year of the Yan Lok reign, Yan Lok Emperor ordered the compilation of a comprehensive encyclopedia which was initially completed by a team of 150 scholars in one and a half years. However, Yan Lok Emperor was dissatisfied with the result and appointed Yao Guangxiao and others to revise the work. Yao Guangxiao led a team of more than 2,000 scholars, monks, and Taoists to spend four years revising the encyclopedia, resulting in the creation of the massive and comprehensive Yan Lok Encyclopedia. With over 7,000 books cited, the Yan Lok Encyclopedia became one of the most important cultural achievements of ancient China and a pinnacle of the Ming Dynasty's cultural prosperity. In addition to the encyclopedia, Yao Guangxiao also played a significant role in the compilation of the Ming Dynasty's official history, the veritable record records of the Ming Dynasty. Beginning in the first year of the Jin Wen reign, the compilation went through several revisions, with Yao Guangxiao and other officials serving as chief editors during the final revision process that lasted from 1407 to 1418. The revised veritable records of the Ming Dynasty was highly praised by Yan Lok Emperor, who awarded the editors four times for their outstanding work. Yao Guangxiao's contributions to these literary works are a testament to his intellectual prowess and dedication to scholarship. In fact, Yao Guangxiao was one of the most important people who led to the outbreak of this rebellion. Yao Guangxiao was a close advisor and strategist to Zhu Di, the Prince of Yan, who later became the Yan Lok Emperor. When Zhu Di faced persecution at the hands of his nephew, the Jin Wen Emperor, Yao Guangxiao was instrumental in helping him rebel and seize the throne. Without Yao Guangxiao's support and encouragement, Zhu Di might not have had the confidence or the resources to launch the rebellion. In fact, it's safe to say that without Yao Guangxiao's influence, Zhu Di would not have been able to win the Jingnan campaign and seize the throne. Yao Guangxiao's legacy as a key figure in the establishment of the Ming Dynasty is a testament to his intelligence and strategic thinking. His contributions to the Ming Dynasty's literature and culture are also noteworthy, but his role in the Jingnan campaign cannot be overstated. Yao Guangxiao was a fascinating figure in Ming Dynasty history. After the Jinan campaign, Yan Lok Emperor held him in high regard and offered him all sorts of worldly rewards, from high-ranking positions to beautiful women and piles of gold and jewels, but Yao Guangxiao refused them all. Despite his close relationship with the Emperor, Yao Guangxiao was never afraid to speak his mind. He was known for pushing back against the emperor on matters of principle, even if it meant forfeiting some of his rewards or risking his position at court. Yao Guangxiao was a man of many talents, with a broad range of knowledge and skills that set him apart from his contemporaries. He was also fiercely independent, never shying away from going against the status quo. However, there are also criticisms of Yao Guangxiao's role in the Jinan campaign. Some historians believe that he may have played a significant role in encouraging Zhu Di to rebel against the Jin Wen Emperor, 
leading to the suffering of many innocent people and destabilizing the country. It's worth noting that this behavior would be at odds with the teachings of Buddhism, which emphasize compassion and nonviolence. Regardless of his motivations, the consequences of the rebellion were tragic, and many people suffered as a result. Despite the controversy surrounding his involvement in the Jingnan campaign, Yao Guangxiao remained an enigmatic figure throughout his life. He achieved great fame and success in his career, but he seemed to have little attachment to worldly possessions or positions of power. Yao Guangxiao's refusal to compromise his principles and his commitment to his beliefs are admirable traits that continue to inspire people today. However, his involvement in the Jingnan campaign and the suffering it caused cannot be ignored or excused. In the end, Yao Guangxiao remains a complex and enigmatic figure in Ming Dynasty history. His intelligence, knowledge, and courage are undeniable, but the controversies around his involvement in the Jingnan campaign remind us that even the most accomplished figures in history are not without their flaws. Well, folks, that's all for today's video about the enigmatic figure of Yao Guangxiao. I hope you enjoyed learning about this mysterious monk and his role in the Jingnan campaign. Before we go, I want to take a moment to thank you for watching and to politely ask you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and give this video a thumbs up. Your support means the world to me and helps me continue creating more exciting and informative videos about Chinese history, culture, and artifacts. And hey, if you have any suggestions or requests for topics you'd like me to cover in future videos, don't be shy. Leave a comment and let me know. I'm always looking for new ideas and would love to hear from you. Once again, thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next video.